All right, so in this problem, we have this graph of, uh, of the processes that a one mole of a monoatomic ideal gas undergoes. Uh, we can see we have four steps in this process. Two of them are isobaric, which are from A to B and from C to D. And two processes which are isochoric, which are from B to C and from D to A. The question is, we want to complete the table by calculating delta U, the work, and Q, the amount of heat involved, including the signs for each of the four steps. So, um, first of all, I've written some of the given. So, we are given the number of mole, one mole. We are given the temperatures at the different points. And we're not given anything related to the pressure or the volume. Uh, let's start by stating some equations. We know the change of internal energy, since this is a monoatomic ideal gas, we can write it as 3 over 2 nRT. Delta T, of course. And we know that regarding the work, the work is the integral of the pressure over the volume. Um, if we consider the isobaric processes, pressure is constant, so this is just P delta V, and we can write this as NR delta T. Of course, I changed the formula for the work to be in terms of the temperature because this is the only given we have. And finally, for Q, we know from um, the first law of thermodynamics that you can write Q as uh, the addition or the sum of the change in internal energy and the work. So if we add up the two formulas, we get a formula for the heat as well. And I guess now all we can do is just apply these formulas for the different processes. So from A to B, Um, from A to B, we can start by calculating the change in the internal energy. 3 over 2 nR delta T. So, this is 3 over 2 times 1 times 8.31 times 800 minus 400. So, if we check the given, the temperature at B is 800 while the temperature at A is 400 Kelvin. So if we substitute these, we will get 4,990 joules. Um, if we calculate the work, so this is nR delta T. We substitute everything and we will get 3,320 joules. And finally, we can find Q by adding the internal energy and the work done. And this will give us 8,000 and 310 joules. From B to C, we can do the same calculations. Now, we notice that the change in internal energy will be negative because the temperature is uh, increasing from B to C. Sorry, it's decreasing. So this is going to give us a negative value for the change in, in temperature. So this is 3 over 2 nR delta T, 3 over 2 times 1 times 8.31 times um, 400 minus 800. And this gives us minus 4,990 joules. Regarding the work, we can see that from B to C, this is an isochoric process. So the work done is zero. No change in volume, so there is no work done. And then we can deduce that Q is equal to delta U equals um, minus 4,990 joules. So, so far we have these values
and now from C to D we can do the same thing find the change in internal energy this should give you minus 2490 joules um, so you can look from C to D we also have a decrease in temperature that's why the change in internal energy is also negative um, the work done however if we calculate it we will also get a negative work done and this makes sense because if you look at the graph if you look at the graph from C to D the, the volume is decreasing so we have negative work involved and Q will be just the sum so this will be minus 4150 joules and finally from D to A Delta U will have a value of 2490 the work done will be zero because this is an isochoric process and the Q will be 2490 joules as well so we were able to calculate all the variables along with their signs we can immediately guess the signs from the graph because we know that when the volume is increasing the work will be positive when the temperature is uh, increasing the change in internal energy will be positive as well and finally Q is found from, from the sum of these two variables.